Hello and welcome to another episode of Pipes Around the World. Today we're going to Indonesia. I found an artisan there. Uh, it's Mudcat Pipes, uh, MCP, and I bought a pipe from him. This pipe is a beautiful calabash pipe. I've been looking for a calabash pipe. And as you can see, this guy did an awesome job. I'm going to show you this cap comes off. This is very, very light. I will say I didn't weigh it, but I will say maybe 30 grams or so. And um, just an excellent job. When I saw it on Facebook and I was looking for something that I could afford, I said I'm going to give this guy a try. I started communicating with him and um, we struck a deal. So he didn't only send me this pipe, but he also sent me um, an extra bowl so that I could see the different woods that he works with. He works with woods from Indonesia. Uh, for the tops, he uses black wood or acacia wood. So he sent me an extra top. And for the bowl part, he uses a teak wood. And he also deals with uh, another type of wood called Nagasari. Yeah, Nagasari. I had to write it down because I could. And so he made me this little pipe out of the Nagasari wood so I could try them out. Now these woods are very aromatic. You know, when you when you smoke them, you can um, kind of get a little bit of the of the wood smell. Very pleasant in my in my opinion. I've tried smoking both of them. I've done like a like an aromatic uh, Latakia blend in them. Um, and they both smoke very well. I probably do that at the end of the video so you guys can see. So this artisan, uh, he began as a motorcycle uh, painter, and uh, and you know when COVID hit, uh, that's when he started making pipes and he started you know kind of tinkering with different types of woods. He gathered material for what he could gather. He said he used some tools from electronic equipment, you know, that in young yards he just found stuff and he got a, a lathe actually out of out of a young yard and that house he started you know making up his tools handmade uh so that he could make pipes um i probably put a, a, some pictures here of some of the pipes that he's made with the limited you know resources and tools he does do a great job of course in my opinion so i wanted you to introduce you guys to this country indonesia this artisan who uh, made this beautiful pipe and hopefully I'm going to continue doing some more of these. I already have maybe two or three lined up other countries to do pipes around the world so you guys get to see uh, what are some of those artisans from other countries and you know maybe their style and maybe something that interests you guys, uh, something different and of course something beautiful. I find that all pipes are beautiful. This is a great clencher. I'm going to put something in it and I'll talk to you guys a little bit more. So I thought it would be a good idea to show you the details on this pipe. First of all, let me tell you, he packaged this thing um, amazingly. This thing, I mean, I'm going to use it too because I think you, you could package uranium there and, and it would have been safe. Um, so. With this light, you can probably see a little better the details on the pipe, on the grain. I noticed that it was hard to see outside, but here I'm sure you can pick up some of, of it a little better, even though I'm still trying to focus. Um, beautiful, beautiful wood. You definitely did a good job. And the, um, even on the other cap, which he doesn't look as striking at this one, but when you actually put it on the light, you can see the details on that too. He gave me some extra rubber things, I guess, in case those wear out or or um, get damaged. And then this Nagasari wood is it's very interesting how the light, when it catches the light, it's almost like translucent and it shines a little bit. Very interesting. Uh, when 
I mean, I mostly just smoke prior wood. So having something different, I, I have some mortar pipes. Uh, it's just kind of neat. And like I said, they both smoke very well. And the draft is very good. Uh, so I just wanted you guys to just have a close up look, see how it looked. So here we are inside, giving this pipe a try. And one of the things that I enjoy a lot about this pipe, other than it just looks gorgeous, um, is the airflow. It has good flow. Mr. Mudcat tells me that he's been working really hard at perfecting that airflow. And I think he's done a good job. From uh, in every single smoke that I had, pretty much you can smoke, put it aside for a little bit and come back. And it stays lit. You don't feel any time that it's restricted or that it's too, too open. Uh, just right. So he has done a really good job, especially for this type of shape to do the airflow correctly. So, so I think this is a this is a success actually. Um, it cost me a fraction of a fourth of what a calabash pipe normally will cost and I think the prices that he has are are pretty amazing um, so something to give a try if you're interested in trying a different type of wood um, if any of you um, have tried teak wood black wood acacia wood uh, Nagasari wood uh, let me know and this is my first trying trying this type of wood and like I said if I if I didn't know anything I would say it just smokes the same as a briar uh, but he did tell me that sometimes you know it has an aroma smell um, I mean you know if I really smell really hard I can maybe notice a little bit of, of a nice wood smell aroma but uh, again if he wouldn't have told me I probably would have not even noticed I would have just smoked it like like any other pipe for sure uh, so I hope you enjoy this. Uh, like I said, we will continue to be doing some more and um, Indonesia was definitely a, a success. Hope to visit maybe one day. I think it must, it's, it's definitely a beautiful place. Until next Pipes Around the World. See you next time.